is such a big challenge to parents, especially in the first one year of life. So how do we differentiate if our babies are having reflux or is it just our overfeeding? We say our babies have reflux when they keep on spitting up milk after feeding. We sometimes refer this as infant reflux or gastroesophageal reflux. It's usually not a serious problem and as the babies grow older, so does the reflux become less. However, there are some times that you might need to worry when this happens. If your, baby, if your baby's weight gain is poor as compared to the amount of food that they, they take, that means the spitting is much more than what is being retained. Or if the spitting becomes forceful, that means they are now vomiting, and if it's a projectile vomiting, that means the vomiting goes very far from where they are, that's a problem. If they now spit things that are, have blood stains, that are greenish, that are yellowish, or what we call coffee ground, that means it has the color of coffee, that's a problem as well. If their stool has some blood stains, that's also a problem. If they develop a difficult a cough or a difficulty in breathing after they've had a spit up, that's also a problem. If they refuse to feed, or if they become irritable after feeding, that is also a problem. And of course, if for any reason they are just okay, they do not have any issue with reflux, and all of a sudden when they're at the age of six months or more, they start to be having the spit up again then that is a problem. So how do we tell that is, this is reflux and not just overfeeding? We could be overfeeding our babies when we tend to give them more than what their stomach can actually hold. So usually excess will always come out as a spit up. And they'll always have very much discomfort because of all that stretching, because of excess milk. They'll tend to cry more they'll have more issues of gas as compared to when you just feed them normally because the more they the more they suckle the more they, the more gas they swallow and also because of all these volumes of milk they sometimes tend to have loose stools some bouts of loose stools in between otherwise normal stools so when you see any of these chances are you could be actually overfeeding your baby so how do we avoid overfeeding? Always choose to use the breast vis-a-vis -vis the bottle as much as you can. Because if you're using the breast, it's the baby who controls the feeding as opposed to when you're using the bottle. But in case either you're using, if you're using the breast or the bottle, you should be able to know the cues of how do you tell that your baby is actually satisfied. So when the baby start, is just starting to breastfeed, they'll suckle very fast and continuously. When they're about to get full, they'll have these pauses, gaps between sucking. And then when they're full, they'll either spit out, spit out the bottle or the breast or turn away from the bottle or the breast. So when you see that, stop insisting that the baby should actually continue to feed. And also, we should also try to, to, try to avoid as much as we can not to use the breast as a pacifier. Because for us, most of the time, when the baby cries, we just want to give them the breast. Not all the time that the baby cries, it means that they're hungry. Sometimes it's either they're diaper or they just want you to hold them. Or they want you to just walk out and just have that time with you. So in case your baby is spitting, what do you do? Number one, reduce the feeding. Instead of you giving large volumes in stretches of time, what you need to do is reduce the volumes and then increase the frequency. At the end of the day, you should be able to, the, to give the, the same volume of milk, the recommended volume of milk that you normally would give. And then the second thing is, have at least 30 minutes that you hold the baby upright after they are fed. And when you are doing this, do not jiggle the baby because this may prompt, may prompt them to split up. Or vomit. The third thing that you can you can do is always attempt to have a good latch. 
whether you are using your breasts or your a bottle. If you're using a bottle and if you think maybe your nipple is not what your baby would, would have a good latch, then you may need to change the bottle and off the nipple altogether. And then the other thing that you need to do is check for allergies. If you suspect allergies could be could be what is prompting your baby to spit up more, then you may need to either eliminate things like dairy and dairy products, things like eggs, um, beef are usually very common in causing allergies and excessive spit up for babies. And if you are doing exclusive breastfeeding, that means it's the mom who will have to eliminate those things in her diet. But if the baby has already been weaned off, then you may want to go slow on those. If you're doing formula, you may need to change the type of formula. And after you've fed your baby and you've held them for at least 30 minutes upright, when you're putting your babies to sleep, put them to lie on your back. It's the safest and the most recommended position, not on the side. I really hope this is helpful and you've and you've learned a thing or two. Thank you so much for watching this.